snap, crackle, pop. What do you immediately see in your head when I say those three words? While well, you think about it, I have a sudden urge to go out and buy some Rice Krispies. I'll be right back. Animated mascots are absolutely essential for companies who want faces to their names. Characters appeal to everyone, and that's why you find strong examples of this all the time. Rice Krispies is, of course, no exception to this rule. Where it differs than a bunch of other companies is its number of characters. Instead of just having a single guy represent the product, we have a whopping three. While that may feel a little overwhelming at first, it makes sense given the context of the serial. Snap, Crackle, and Pop are brothers born out of specific sounds, which led to a catchy jingle for almost every commercial they show up in. When we're talking marketing, short and sweet is the way to go. Companies want something quick that consumers are going to remember, and it rolling off the tongue is essential. When I say Snap, Crackle, Pop, you almost definitely think of Rice Krispies right away, and that's when you know that the characters are a success. In fact, these guys have stuck around a lot longer than one might assume. Their history goes all the way back to 1930s after debuting on the physical cereal boxes. Each of these elfish designs were simple, but went a long way in spreading the word across. Their very existence is innocent and fun, driving you to smile and buy some Rice Krispies of your own. Like every other mascot, these guys were made with the sole purpose of selling, and as time went on, their reign of commercial domination would progress. They started making appearances in TV commercials sometime in the 1950s. I say it's crackle, the crispy sound. You gotta have crackle or the clock's not wound. Geese cackle, feathers tickle, belts buckle, beats pickle, but crackle makes the world go round. Snap, crackle, pop, rice krispies. TV opened up the door for a ton of new consumers and their families. They watch these animated characters and then think to themselves, well, that's fun. Whether you like him or not, these guys would be known worldwide, and it's hard to find someone who hasn't heard the phrase snap, crackle, pop. But here's where things get interesting. What you may not know is that this team of innocent elves actually had a fourth member, if only for a brief moment in time. Remaining secret from the public for several decades, it was only recently discovered thanks to the beauty of the internet. There are some archives from long ago that keep this history alive. I've been going on long enough. Who exactly is this fourth member? Well, his name is Pow. One of the only examples we've ever seen of him is in a 1950s commercial uploaded by TV Days on YouTube. The commercial commercial starts out with a normal box of Rice Krispies, but obviously, that alone isn't enough to sell to audiences. Snap, Crackle, and Pop are here, and things seem like they'll play out like every other ad. Until this. Well, they've got a by the name of Pow. Pow means power, and power's nice. Rice Krispies power from whole grain rice. Yes, Kellogg's famous fresh guys, Snap, Crackle, and Pop, want you to know their silent partner, Pow. Pow doesn't say much, he just does things. Like putting power in every lightweight spoonful of Kellogg's Rice Krispies. The commercial lasts around a minute, and it details who Pow is and what he represents. It really stands out from the others, right? I mean, Snap, Crackle, and Pop are all sounds, and that's easy to tell, but Pow isn't like that. He's meant to reveal the power you get after choosing Rice Krispies for breakfast. He'll give you energy and get you ready for the day like no one else. He's the ultimate hero! Or at least, that's how he's advertised. The way this commercial goes makes it feel all too likely that Pow is about to join the team. He's from outer space, meaning he doesn't have the same same background as everyone else, but look at his design. His nose is drawn in a similar fashion to the others, and his overall appeal does blend in with the team. Not only that, but they actually added him to the jingle. That's not something you do lightly. Snap, crackle, pop, and pow! Right in Kellogg's Rice Krispies now. Pow means power, and power's nice. Rice Krispies power from whole grain rice. It seems like the Rice Krispies mascots had a new future planned out for them, but as we know today, that couldn't be further from the truth. A Smithsonian Magazine article on the subject reveals a few interesting finds. From 1948 through the mid-50s, the brothers sponsored the popular children's program The Howdy Doody Show. But in early 1950, Kellogg's marketer snuck in a fourth friend, Pow. The company said in an email to Smithsonian.com, Pow appeared in two TV commercials. The Spaceman character was meant to exude the power of whole grain rice. He was never considered an official character. When Kellogg says he was never considered an official character, does that mean he was never meant to be be promoted after one or two commercials? Or did Pow just not fit in with the rest of the gang, so he was cut? There are still questions on what happened behind the scenes, but the article showcases storyboards of the original commercial. A lot of it is familiar to 
what we've already watched, but some of the panels don't actually happen, or at least they haven't resurfaced on the internet. Snap, Crackle, Pop, and Pow are all pointing towards the Rice Krispies box as the announcer reveals the cereal is talking. This could have aired as a separate commercial, or maybe it was on the cutting room floor, but we really don't know right now. In a quick Google search, there are very high quality production cells of the original design from the 1950s commercial. His features are cleaned up for a modern generation, and you can really pinpoint the extra detail. Looking at these, you get the sense that this group has officially added a new member, and it seems like he's here to stay. Too bad his life was about to end right after it began. Something you may be wondering is, why was Pal from space? Why did he look like the rest of the group while still being completely different in his way of life? The answer relates heavily to marketing strategy. Around this time, it was common to see space characters in, well, everything. It was a successful trend, and companies wanted to capitalize on that as much as they could. Oh yeah, there's a Rice Krispies commercial featuring the gang traveling through space, once again profiting off the trend. However, there's no Pal in sight, but that may also be because it came out before his debut. The camera race from outer space with oven roasted, tumble toasted, golden bits of rice. They're great! Either way, I feel like this commercial would be the better way to introduce viewers to him, but those are just my two cents. Let's talk about the ultimate question of the day. Why on earth did Kellogg stop using him? I have a few ideas. Number one is the disappointing answer, but it isn't out of the question. That Pal was only meant to show up one or two times. I'm only basing this off of Kellogg's response that he was an unofficial character. That, and the fact that he could have been a one-time space character to cash in on the trends during the 50s. Space was a vast, unexpected explored area that had a lot of mysteries surrounding it. People just loved diving into this world, they loved watching characters related to it, and it helped sell products. Number 2. Maybe Pal's disappearance is thanks to the jingle. Like I said at the beginning of the video, everything has to stay simple in advertisements. You don't want things to get complicated, and Snap, Crackle, Pop gets the job done. When you add a fourth guy to the mix, it's only one extra syllable, but feels much longer than it should be. Having three mascots is already pushing things a little, so a fourth would be too much. And number three, he stands out. He's not like the others at all. His name representing explosive power doesn't fit in with the other names who represent sound. We also know that these three are brothers, but as stated in his commercial, Pal was seen as a friend of the group. He wasn't a fourth brother. This sort of thing could explain why his life ended as quickly as it started. I gotta be honest, talking about this whole situation is making me realize that history repeats itself. For a modern day equivalent, I can't help but think about the Powerpuff Girls reboot adding a fourth member. Everyone knows Blossom, Buttercup, and Bubbles, but then Bliss shows up out of nowhere and people weren't happy. I also kid you not, she spends a lot of time in space just like Pow. This feels eerily similar to what happened back then, and it might give you an idea of what people thought about adding a fourth Rice Krispies member. Did Kellogg's realize that Pow wouldn't sit well with audiences since they already got used to the team of three? Maybe. So rise and shine, Rice Krispies time. At the end of the day, the catchy slogan of Snap, Crackle, and Pop will always be remembered. Maybe there's an alternate timeline where Pow is added to the mix, but that's a reality we never got to see. Whether because the character was meant to be one time only, or because he just didn't fit in with the brothers, Pow is a remnant of the past and will probably never return. Press F to pay respects to an absolute legend. I will never forget you, Pow. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.